Hey, it's Colin Smith here and welcome to Tip Tuesday. This week is for tablet users. I'm going to show you how to set and lock down the settings in your brushes. Have you ever been using a brush inside of Photoshop and you hit those two little tabs at the top for pressure and size and nothing happens? Well, this tip's going to show you how to eliminate that problem once and for all. This tip really applies to people that use a tablet, pressure sensitive tablet, but it still will apply to everybody, but more so tablet users. So here's one of the things I like to do. I like to take a photograph like this and then take an adjustment layer and then paint onto it with white, for example, here to brighten up certain areas. So now there's certain things we can do when we change these brushes. And one of them is opacity and the other one is size. So if I turn opacity on, what happens is if I press hard, I get a big effect and then as I lighten off, I can kind of fade those in. And this is one of the things I love to do all the time where I can just literally just fade in the things. The other thing is size. If size is on, we get a thicker line and then a thinner line as we drop down. Now here's one of the things you may or may not have noticed is when you turn these on and off, for example, I'm gonna turn off size notice that it's off. If I turn off opacity, it's still working, even though I turned it off in the menu bar. Why is it? Well, if you go to the brushes panel over here, you'll notice that transfer is turned on and we can see opacity is turned on for pan pressure. So this particular brush is overriding the controls. If you watch under the shape dynamics, I'm gonna turn the size on and off, notice that check mark appears and disappears. If I go to opacity and I turn it on and off, notice it has no effect. That's because whatever's in the brush panel is gonna override whatever we do in the toolbar up here. So if you want complete control over the toolbar, what we do is we turn the transfer off here in the brush. Notice these are off and now as I tap, you can see I can turn it on and off from the top. So make sure it's turned off in the brush if you want control up here. Now the thing is, if I go to a different brush, these settings are gonna reset for whatever that brush is because they're brush specific. So here's a secondary tip. If you go in here and you lock down these little padlocks, that means that shape and transfer will not change now. So as we go into different brushes, these are gonna hold their values and we can always adjust it from up here. Now just be aware that these are turned on because certain brushes rely on these dynamics to make them work properly. Hey, I just wanna thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something that was useful. Every week I'm adding a new tip and new tutorials from Photoshop Cafe. So make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. I'll wait for you to do it. That way you can become a subscriber and be reminded of all the fresh new content that we're adding here at Photoshop Cafe. Okay, now that you're a subscriber, hit the like button and also add a comment, join in the discussion. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe. That's photoshopcafe.com.